Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's having a terrific day wherever you are across this globe. I am at the Nellica River. I am at the end of Twofold Bay. I hope the sunlight doesn't get too bad in here, but this is at the end of the bay and this is where the river is formed. And it comes up and around. It's very pretty down here. So I haven't, I haven't fished here before, but uh, a couple people gave me an idea to come down here. They, uh, they said the fishing can be pretty good when the tide's coming in and it's coming in right now. So we're gonna give it a shot and fingers crossed we catch something. Okay, so we're just using a little bit, piece of pilchard. I'm just using a small hook and uh, we'll use the current to our advantage. see how it goes. Oh, we've hooked into one. Only been here a couple minutes. Not sure what we got over here. There we go. Oh, it's a flathead. It's a sandy. There we go. Good start to the morning. Yes. There we go. Nice sandy. So 38 centimeters. Very nice. Like I said, we just got here. We just threw that line out. So uh, I think he's coming home. I think if I put him back, uh, Lee might get a little upset. This is her favorite fish to eat. So uh, we're gonna keep him and possibly have him for dinner tonight. I'm guessing that's a sea eagle. Drifting in the wind. It's blowing pretty good this morning. And to drive to a couple different spots to uh, find a spot where I could actually fish. He might be looking for some food too. Well, when I got up this morning and looked at the weather report, it didn't say anything about rain. But I've only been here about 20 minutes and it is getting very dark very dark so hopefully it stays away if not this will be a very <laughs> very short session winds picking up as well mm. oh 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 i think we missed them oh that's too bad it'd be nice to have another one Well, one of the things I didn't think about, <laughs> I'm out here fishing on this little sandbar. Well, it's getting smaller and smaller. It's about half the size it was. Uh, <laughs> you can see where the water's coming in here, where that little black stuff is there. I was fishing just in front of that when I got here, and it's only been about a half an hour, and it keeps coming up and <laughs> closer and closer. So between that and the weather, um, yeah, I don't know how much longer I've got. Have been getting some bites. I haven't caught another fish, but I have gotten some other bites. So, uh, I don't know. If it gets in, oh, if it gets in too much more, I'm going to be locked, locked in. So, I may have to move to the shoreline over there and give it a try. Give it a try on the shoreline over that way. But uh, I'll try for another 10 or 15 minutes here. I can still get across over there, that's all good. Well, I wussed out. <laughs> uh, it has created an island now, and it's getting smaller and smaller. So I've come over to the shore over on this side. And uh, like I said, haven't fished here before, don't know what to expect would love another flathead that'd be fantastic and it looks like a very good area for it so uh, we'll try this for a bit well I didn't have a lot of time this morning and with moving around so much I didn't get a lot of fishing in but I did catch that one uh, sandy flathead uh, very nice 39 centimeters and I think I found a spot to come and throw some soft plastics 
uh, the first warm day we get, I'm going to head back out here and uh, try that spot again. Because over there on that sandbar, uh, I probably only got about five or six casts in and I got a bite on, on each one. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, looks like a future spot to catch some fish. So uh, eh, yay. <laughs> uh, so like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, keep fishing.